Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Here's the rules to my Nuzlite run. Pause the video if you gotta read them. Boop. All right, welcome back to Tim Friend. I did my shopping off camera because it's boring, but I tried to give myself a little bit of a little bit of the Tim Friend logo flavor, a little green, a little bit of yellow on the socks because it's good to have fun socks. So let's do the dance and show off my new Tim Friend fashion. They didn't have a good backpack. They're all fucking squares. So I guess that's what I'm locked into being having's do. This big old ding dang square backpacks. Whatever. I don't care. I'll just have my own dang backpack and that will be a big fucking square, I guess. What's in this house? Instead of going to see the professor, what's in this who's who are these old people? Alright, cool. Just talking about how Sonya and Leon had a rivalry. That's nice. What about you? you? Gotta be smart. What about you? Give me shit. Give me free shit. Look at that. You see the professor's house from here. That's cute. I love the, the going up and downstairs animations a little bit different than the normal walk cycle. I like that a lot. Alright. New route, new friend. Can't lose. Who are we gonna get? What's up, buddy? I already have a Pokemon. I'm here to teach you how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you come from? I already caught one. Yes, she did give me Pokeballs. Great. Give me Pokeballs so I can get some friends. Nice. Yeah, see? Since we got the fucking Squovit, since we caught any Pokemon on the first route, we don't have to see the catching tutorial. At least, I'm assuming. There's gotta be one, right? It's not not Pokemon without a catching tutorial. What do we get? Okay, it's low tech. <laughs> oh man, yeah. It's you sure are low tad. Low tad. I'm not super thrilled about it. I'm gonna be real. I'm just not a huge low tad fan. I don't know. Are low tad good? I, I'm not gonna check. That's, oh, that's another thing that I wanted to put in the rules, but maybe I've already forgotten to talk about, but I don't want to look shit up as much as I can. As much as I can not look shit up, that's how much I will look shit. I'm not going to look shit up as much as possible. So, whether Lotad's good or not, they're on the team. Get in the ball, Lotad. You know you want to. That's right, you dipshit. At least you have Water Gun. At least it's not just training up an astonished child, which... I'm so fucking done with leveling up Pokemon that just start with Astonish and only get Astonish for a little bit. It fucking sucks. I don't like it. Why is Lotad so tall? It's two feet tall? That's too tall. Uh, your name is... Ch uh, Cra... Krangle... Krangles... Kranglor. Your name is Kranglor. Good job. Welcome, Kranglor. You've got some really challenging phonemes in there. <laughs> Kranglor. We could have gotten a ding-dang blip bug. I wanted a blip bug instead of this silly Kranglor. The blip bug's the new... It's one of the new little bug-type Pokemon. There's a lot of new bug-type Pokemon in this game. It's very good. And they're all very good. Blip bug's got struggle bug, which is fine. It's just fine. It evolves at level 10. Uh, and then it becomes a good Pokemon, it becomes Dotler, and then Dotler becomes Orbeetle, and that's Rabical. They are cool, cause they, they are psychic and bug, and that's awesome. And they get, they get cool psychic moves, and they turn into like a ladybug that's also a UFO type deal. It's crazy. Blipbug's a little nerd bug. I like him. I like Blipbug. I'm not even using him in my home game, but I like him. Get in the, get in my fight. Yeah, another blip bug. I'll eat you up with my squirrel. Like I give a dunk. Fuck him up, Thorngold. Uh, I think we're just gonna use... a uh, tackle. Oh no, blip bug has struggle bug? I mean, Thorngold is the only Pokemon on my team that is not weak to blip bug. And this is a level 6 one too, huh? Alright. Let's, uh, let's use a potion. In this fight with a wild fucking caterpillar. Oh, so Blipbug's a nerd. You can see it looks like his eyes are glasses. 
He also looks like he's wearing a little bow tie. Look at the little bow tie, the little antennae things on the on the underside of his face. That's so cute, it's so good. I like him. I like Blipbug. He's got a cute design. Really don't like how he does seven damage with every attack. This is a strong blip bug. Fuck him up, uh, Thorngold. So as long as he doesn't crit, as long as he doesn't crit, he said jinxing himself. <laughs> okay. Oh, we are having fun today, aren't we, Thorngold? Yes. So good. Back to the Pokemon Center with, with us. What do you say? What do you say, everyone? Didn't even get a level out of it? Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Okay. Yes, this is, uh... This is not the most auspicious start. I do like that the, the hidden items on the ground will have little sparklies so you can tell where they are. If you're paying attention, you can get some hidden items rather than just like, Alright, well, let's fucking press A on every patch of ground, on every tile in this universe. Let's just fucking... Poke the ground until we find all the treasure. Hey, now we have Cranglore. Really here to round out the team with more weakness to bugs and flying. So good. Uh, definitely not going to run into bugs and birds in the first few routes. Oh, wait. That's like two thirds of all the Pokemon. Oh, well, it's fine. All right. Uh, the squirrel would run away. I spooked him. Oh, we could have gotten Choodle, a little water turtle. So we got this ding dang Lotad. Lotad, I Cranglore. My apologies, Cranglore. I really hope Cranglore becomes like some kind of buster for me because of how much I'm dunking on Cranglore right now. Like if it's me and fucking Cranglore, and no Thorngold and no Prombus uh, at the at the champion, that would make a lot of sense to me. That I would that would be very very, very fitting, because I'm really, really going hard on how much I am not super jazzed about Cranglore. Uh, but, we're gonna, we're, you know me, we're gonna try our best, and as soon as we get something that's even remotely better than Cranglore, Cranglore will hit the bench, and we will never use Cranglore until multiple Pokemon have died. But, maybe we won't get anything better than Cranglore. Maybe Cranglore is as good as it gets. Oh, good job, Prombus. Hit that level 9. I would like... God, fuck off, Rookity. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Rookity, come back. That Rookity was glowy. It's not a shiny. It's just had a little bit of a glowy aura. So if we fight Rookity, and we beat Rookity, uh, it's got a nerve. I can't... I'm too nervous to eat berries. I'm just too nervous to eat berries. Uh, if we beat Rookity, we get some of this game's sort of secondary currency. It has, it has two currencies. Uh, right off the bat, uh, and that's money, I know, the currency of money, uh, and it has watts, W-A-T-T-S, like the electricity measurement type of deal, uh, and the watts are used in places, usually the wild area, which we will get to, uh, at this rate, in about 34 episodes, uh, we can use the wild, the watts in the wild area to do some various things, like upgrade our bike once we get a bike, and... What the fuck? What the fuck? Why does that rookie have rock smash? That must be an egg move. So I guess, I fucking guess, if you run into glowy Pokemon, they might also have egg moves. Just, I know, I know, rookie does not get rock smash via level up, you pizza shit. Now he's not even using Peck because he just wants me to feel bad about myself. Lost my Squovit. Didn't even get to eat one ding dang berry with Squovit, did I? No, I got to eat zero berries with Squovit. Now Squovit is dead. Now Squovit is a corpse. And I'm here rocking two things that are both weak to birds. I got 140 watts for my trouble. Ugh. Good start. Good start. Already going back. Route 2. Lost a friend. Feels great. Feels strong. Feels good about it. I love it. I'm thrilled. Well, Squovit, at least I won't have to catch you anymore. Yeah, I know about Pokemon boxes. Uh, Squovit, we're gonna we're gonna make a little graveyard box just so we can remember how far we've come. 
I will remember you. Will you remember me? Bye, Thorngold. Kranglor! You're up, buddy. Now you're the lower level Pokemon that I'm grinding. I want to, want to try to hit like level 10. Uh, because I know there's another rival fight coming around the bend, and uh, I don't think it'll be a problem, but I mean, I just got obliterated by a small bird. Uh, so not feeling super jized about my chances. All right, what do we get here? I don't actually know if like fighting Pokemon in the overworld versus fighting Pokemon on the underworld on the in the tall grass uh, makes a difference in their levels, though. I wish I did know that, because that would be useful to know. Uh, I don't know if it's... It, it might be different in different places, because we caught that, that fucking Squovit was level 5, and I found overworld Pokemon on the, the route where I caught Squovit. I have found overworld Pokemon that were less than 5. But that doesn't mean that the averages are the same. It could just mean that, yeah, I found a really low-leveled uh, overworld Pokemon on a really high-level... I always want to call it Underworld Pokemon. Doesn't make any sense. That's what I want to call it. Uh, tall Grass Pokemon. But whatevs. Alright. Yeah, this Brogadie's using Leer. I just didn't want didn't want him to use Peck on a one defense lowered uh, Loted. Because uh, that would have really been a huge bummer to lose both Pokemon and then be stuck with Prombus. And while Prombus is effective, he's an effective small child monkey. Uh, I would rather have the variety rather than just like just Prombus. Cause if I run into, I mean, there's a fire type gym. If I keep that shit up, Prombus Prombus ain't gonna be able to handle. I forgot to actually heal my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. I know, gripping gameplay, thrilling. You paid for the whole seat. I mean, you didn't, but you get what you pay for with Tim Friend. You know, you're watching this for free. Maybe you had to watch an ad. You didn't have to watch an ad. Maybe you, maybe you didn't have to watch an ad. But you're going to have to watch me and go and heal my ding-dang Pokemon and <sighs> grumble about it and then secretly feel shame that I probably don't have ads because the channel's not big enough. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's just Tim Friend. We're just having fun. It's not something you have to worry about. That's not what the channel's for, Tim. So get off your own back. Don't got to worry. Yeah, more Pokemon. Let's, let's go over here. Oh, we can fight Trainer over here. Uh, Choodle. Let's fight these Choodles. I can obliterate Choodles. Oh, look at his big mouth. Oh, he's angry. He angy. Look at his little turtle. Oh, it's cute. I like his little spike head and his little frowny face. He do a tackle. It don't do much damage. We use Absorb. It don't do much damage either, but at least we get our HP back. All of it? Hell yeah. That's how we, that's, this is how we do it. He's going to do the tackle. We're going to absorb and get all that ding dang HP back. Whatever, Choodle. You're the person I'm going to fucking grind my low tad against. All the way up to level 10, maybe. Depending on how boring it gets. Maybe we'll do it off camera? No. I don't want to do too much grinding off camera. Because uh, with the experience all, you don't have to. Like, I have very rarely needed to grind. Uh, even with new Pokemon, because the new Pokemon that you're catching will be uh, pretty close to the level of the trainers and then pretty close to the level of the gym leaders. There's not like huge gaps. Looking at you, heart gold and soul silver. Looking at you, uh, eh, platinum to a degree, but at least in platinum you could re-challenge trainers consistently with a Versus Seeker. Uh, but I did have an exceptionally boring time grinding up for the Elite Four. Though I guess I don't know what level the Elite Four is at. But regardless, without grinding, in uh, my Pokemon Shield home game, I am overleveled without grinding. Like, I did some grinding at one point just to bring a couple people up in line with the rest of my party. Uh, but, but, I'm still like three or four levels over the gym leaders I'm fighting. It is not a super difficult game that I found, though, we will see how that changes with Nuzlocke rules in effect. I have a feeling it's going to be a smidge tougher when uh, you cannot catch whatever Pokemon you need to plug into the gym leaders. And, uh, uh, yeah, forget an old move. You got missed now, buddy. All right, that's fine. Let's get rid of Growl. He's missed. 
Maybe it'll come in handy. Kranglore. Whatever, Kranglore. You learned Mist. You're level 9. That's great. Only one more level on these dipshits and we're good to go. Alright, next time on Tim Friend, avoiding these birds. Bye, everybody. Wah 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 w